At the end of this video, you will have something that looks like this. So you have your typical game here. The score will pop up. Look at the score here. And to, as you can see, it increases by like four. And then when, when we die, the score resets to zero. So in this video, you will be creating that. So let's get started. First, what you need to do is create a new scene. And what do we have this thing? We have a canvas layer node. We have a control node and we have a label node. First, I want you to copy all of this right now. And in the label node, we'll make sure that the text here is zero. So we just say zero like that. So this is the first part. So save and we need to add this to the world. So we'll click on this button and then we'll click on, we will just add score. We don't need two scores. One is, is fine. Now we need to add a script. So go back to the store and then we add a script. Simple. And as you can see, there's the script here. So first, I don't want you to copy it. Okay. Just look at that. Just create a blank script and then just go away. The first thing what you need to do is go back, go to the random enemy generated script. First, there's a couple of things you need to do. First thing is this thing. We have a score node called we are preloading the score scene. As you can see, the score scene itself, we're uh, preloading it. Next, what we do is creating an instance now what is the instance just think of it this like this is a uh, class okay this is just basically a class so you're just making an instance of the class now you can access its variables its nodes its signals etc right just write var score node instance score node dot instance simple as that okay now what you will do is well now you can say why do I need that I will explain so we have we need this thing remember that remember that we are connecting a signal a signal can not be connected with only this thing you always always need an instance so that's why we are creating this instance and we need this instance so as you can see the main path the main thing here is called enemy.connect now let me explain first why enemy now enemy.connect because this this enemy hit here is the signal of the enemy so if i go to the enemy gd as you can see there is a signal called enemy hit so enemy.connect means it's uh, enemies enemy dot hit connect to it to which which what which object or which node if I really click on help and if I write connect and as you can see signal comes first then so target is the object and method is a string simple okay target means where you want to send that thing to I mean to send that uh, method okay so which object you want to connect to so I want to connect to score node instance. Why? Because score node instance has a script. Okay. And we'll be changing this. So which method you want to add is this. So I'm repeating here. We are connecting enemies, enemies signal, which uh, signal is enemy hit at a score node instance. So by the way, you actually go back to the enemy scene and you actually need this enemy hit. Okay. <clears throat> we will, uh, we, we will code this thing a little bit later, but we'll do that okay we'll do that a little bit later so enemy hit we were there okay score node instance means there and at score means which method so go back as you can see we have a at score now this is the first part so I, I i don't want you to just copy all of this you need to understand a lot of stuff next what you need to do is go to the enemy <clears throat> enemy.gd and actually define enemy hit okay we need to define enemy hit right now Next, we would do is emit signal. So when where when you need to uh, run the signal, when you need to run the signal, when we find that it is time to it is time to destroy. It means it is bullet. Okay, the bullet is collided. Then we just say eh, emit signal enemy hit, and then then we destroy. So emit signal enemy hit means emit signal means just right emit the signal or start the signal and which signal is enemy hit simple as that right next uh, what we need to do is in the score function as you saw that there is a global now global variables are a global variable like it is everywhere you can access you can change you can manipulate these variables from anywhere anywhere from the script so Global the score can be written here. You can write in bullet enemy G global and global itself. So I will just create. How am I gonna create global the GD to a global variable? Okay. So first thing you need to do is you click on file new script and then you just need to say global dot gd simple as that then just simply cut all of that and then write var score type is int equals to zero okay after you've done that let's clear this after done that go to project project settings auto load so it will be here go to auto load 
and then click on click on this uh where the heck is this click on this and click click on this little button here and we'll go to global and then say open after you open that you just need to add as simple as that okay so it will be create this as a global variable next go back here sorry no next go back to the score now you know where the heck this thing came from so if you want to access it you write global and then if you want to access something else like the properties you just write score uh so you can add more stuff that i want you to play with like there's score there's player health if you want if you want uh equals to zero and if you want to access this what i'm going to do is say global dot player health simple as that all right so that's why you need to make sure that you use a score and uh, use a global variable not a local one that these are the local ones so after you do that uh, we have the, in the ready function we do do uh, we set the score to zero because of course when the game starts we want non we do want the game to be set to zero next is add score so we're just adding one of course to the global score variable right plus equals to one means equals to global dot score plus one so it's just a shorthand writing plus equals to one if you know programming you should know this all right so in the process function we need to update it when it happens so that's why you need to make sure it is in the process function we need to update it in in the whole game so you don't know when it will change so that's why you need to change it like every single second so in the every single frame what you do is just get the score text called labels so we use the get node function and we write base underscore label so are we are what we are getting we are getting this thing okay we are getting this thing then we just set up the score now why we are writing str here here. what it does it as simply adds like for example if i say 4 str version of 4 is this because text function text property doesn't take numbers it only takes strings that's why you just add a str to it simple as that right so we are basically done basically you do that and you are done you do go run and you have your goddamn as i don't say it's running up and you die and it's you thank you guys for watching we will see you in the next video